Hello YouTube, this video will be uh, on how to bind a FlySky receiver to a transmitter, uh, also a FlySky 4 channel. This is what you need, a receiver, a serial uh, for testing, uh, battery, uh, 3S, 2S, binding cable, uh, I have here an ESC hook up to a motor. And also this power pod. So that uh, this process is very very easy, and I think everybody can do it itself uh, with not a lot of problems. So starting with the receiver, you have here that says uh, binding, binding on on the channel three. So that's where you need to plug the binding cable, and I'm gonna do that right now. Then you need to add also power to this receiver and you can do it adding to the slot above and the power will not come directly from the battery but also it will come from the ESC. So let me just plug the ESC with the black cable or in this case brown cable to the side, correct side. So connecting here, let's see a close up now. You can see binding cable on the channel 3 and then the power source uh, on the channel above. After doing that, you need to plug the battery to your ESC that will supply power to the receiver. So I'm gonna do that now and you need to process something on your transmitter uh, so it can bind to your receiver. So you first plug the battery to this receiver and you're gonna see a red light flashing in the receiver it means that it's looking for a signal from the transmitter uh, you want this to be solid red so you need to hold the binding cable then turn it on you see that the lights go solid, solid red it means that it has found signal from the receiver. Then you turn it off the, the transmitter. You can take the binding cable off. First take the battery, but then you take the binding cable. You change from uh, the ESC to the channel 3 because that's where you uh, you want to, to be. And you plug uh, the servo just for testing. Connect the battery. Turn it on, go solid green, it's beeping now, it's looking for signal to make the motor uh, correct, so you go to zero, it identifies that it's in the zero position, then servo testing, not a lot of problems here, and also the motor that is running well, as, as you can see. Very easy, and both are working. So I hope that this video has helped you guys and uh, please if you like it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. É isso aí pessoal, bem simplesinho. Como fazer o bind no seu controle.